Good evening. Welcome to another edition of our Rediscover Louisa Moments with the Mayor Show. Today we're coming to you from up at the Lawrence County Community Center. Uh, and we're, we're on location up here because uh, the Rotary Club has been having a on, uh, radio auction. And so tonight's the last night of it. But of course, by the time you see this, it'll probably be over. But we'd like to take a few minutes and thank you all for participating in the auction. I heard so many people talking about it through town today. You know, uh, I got outbid or I got a good deal on something. So it was a lot of fun too. And everybody worked really hard. So thank all you from the Rotary Club and, and all the people who bid. I got a special guest with me today. One I know you will know, Mr. Chris Job, our county clerk here in the county. And I asked him to come on the show today for a little bit of a different reason. He has been a part of Rotary for how long, Chris? I was trying to think earlier. I, th I think about 2002 is when I joined the club there about or a little bit before. So today I want to talk a little bit about Rotary because I think there's a lot of people in the county that either don't even know we have it or they, they hear Rotary but they don't know what it is. They don't know what it does. Chris was a past president a few years back. Our president now, we just got a new one, is uh, Lindsay Case. And she just started doing a great job. And uh, uh, But Chris did it a few years ago, and I asked him to come on and, and help me tell you what Rotary is about. Uh, first of all, Chris, I wonder how long Rotary's been going on in Lawrence County. I believe you know. 1924, uh, a few years ago, we were looking back in the history books. And to my knowledge, it's probably one of the oldest clubs here in Louisa. Well, I'd say without question. And any business men or uh, community leaders back through time have probably been a part of this club. And for a town our size, I feel like it's pretty successful. We do. We have a very uh, vibrant club. Uh, whenever our district governors, uh, they visit once a year, uh, they are impressed by the, you know, they visit all the different clubs in the district and they're very impressed by the, the membership that we have and the participation and the projects that we do in our community. They're, they're very pleased in that. Uh, I know uh, one thing I can tell you about it is uh, we're always welcoming new members. So if you're a business person or a community leader in the community that would like to be involved with Rotary, you can, uh, we'll give you a, a name and number or something here at the end of the show mm -hmm. where they can call. And also you can show up because mm -hmm. we meet every Thursday at noon at uh, First Baptist Church Family Life Center there in the cafeteria where we have food. So we have a working lunch or lunch and, and uh, communicate with each other. And then we generally have a guest speaker uh, that tells us something about. But what Rotary has done, uh, I feel like, for Lawrence County is we don't have a uh, Chamber of Commerce per se. Right. I know right. we've been leaning toward that or, or uh, joining a regional one, right. which is very, right. we belong to a regional one, which is very common nowadays for, for counties our size. But I feel like our Rotary Club really is kind of like the makeup of the chamber. A uh, makeup uh, of what a Chamber of Commerce would be because all of our business leaders are there, or many of them and uh, we get together regularly and we work for the good of each other, basically. Uh, some of the projects just that I'm familiar with, and then I know Chris will know some more, uh, back through the years, apparently, Rotary had helped with the park, Main Street Park, which I've just worked right, on. Right, we were able to assist with building a, a built, picnic shelter. Built the shelter, the, 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 the one that's there now. Right, correct. And yeah. so Rotary was able to do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I also know just, just since I've been mayor, uh, they assisted me when we was trying to rejuvenate the city pool and bring it back up to mm -hmm. standards. Uh, they helped us with, uh, uh, I believe it was the gazebo. Yes. Sir. So if you sit in the gazebo at the pool this summer uh, and read a book or, or used your iPad and phone, Rotary helped, helped put that, well they did put it there. They paid for that completely, yes, we did. I believe. Mm -hmm and some volunteers put it together. Uh, we just recently installed new baby swings, uh, swings for toddlers at the city, the Lockview Park down by the basketball courts, and Rotary uh, sponsored about half or so of yes, that. Yes, we did. Uh -huh. uh, so that's just a few community projects that just in the year that I've been there mm -hmm. that we've been involved. 
Uh, what's some of the other things that you think people would recognize Rotary's S done? For? Some of the annual things that we do, Harold, is uh, a few years ago we partnered with the Turkey Federation here locally and began to partner with our resource centers on working with providing families with turkeys. Uh, during uh, Thanksgiving, oh, okay. so that's yeah, that's, that's something right. that that's we right. we partner with Walmart, yeah. and and uh, and we in all the schools we place over a hundred and some turkeys a year. Wow. It's something that a lot like the radio auction and our September Fest, yeah. the, uh, the fundraisers that goes back into to purchasing turkeys to provide for families during. So that's one of the, uh, the projects that we're we're known for. Uh, we also partner with the hospital. Uh, a few yes. years ago, we, we do the the bear uh, that we give to maybe a a child or a patient that is spending overnight. Uh, Bill England gives the best story of that, um, how that a, a child had come into the hospital one time and had just a, a can or something to play with. And uh, and that's something that we've we've partnered and bought these bears and we kind of uh, do that. Uh, we also give out scholarships to yeah, graduating that's seniors. That's mm -hmm. a big thing. It is a great, I think this past year we gave out $6,000 in scholarships to graduating seniors. So that was, that was a great project. Um, so $6,000 this year this went year, directly to direct high school to high seniors school graduating from, senior. from right here mm -hmm. that's heading off to college. Right, that's, that's correct. correct. It is, it's, it's because, you know, uh, as you said, so many people, our businesses are so great on donating to being that we're a small community, we have a great outpouring of businesses contributing to our radio auction. Yes, absolutely. And, and we're just very pleased with that. And, and we have faithful bidders that bid, and they get great deals and yeah. things. And it goes right back into the community. The funds that's raised, uh, you know, you can see it. Yeah. Uh, I'm always, you know, uh, we work very closely together. Uh, I, I love doing community projects, yes. things that is going to benefit everyone as a whole, you know. So we're constantly looking at, and there is annual things that we do, like the senior uh, recognition dinner, we do that once a year also. Uh, we very, you know, from time to time, we help sponsor other events in the community, things like that, and they help with different other organizations that may need uh, assistance yeah. and things like Just that. Just in small amounts. In small amounts, right. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. uh, let's, let's talk real quick about September Fest. I know, uh, you know, I'm the chairman of September mm -hmm. Fest. Our last show was about September Fest. And, uh, you know, Rotary is kind of like, a, I feel like a, an anchor of September Fest too, mm -hmm. because you're right there on the corner and been mm -hmm. there since, I don't know. Way back. I remember a lot Way of club back. members, when they started doing Rotary Hash back when Joe Young and, and Max Young and some different ones in the club, Sheepy Queen, uh, now we, we purchase the potatoes and stuff that they make the hash out of. But back when they originally started, they actually said, peeled John the Sparks and them, and they, they peeled the potatoes. Yeah. And so they've come a long ways, yeah, you know. Absolutely. That, so. Well, right there on the corner uh, at the front of the courthouse, mm -hmm. if you haven't been there, Rotary has a food type booth set up during September Fest. And uh, uh, I'll have to say, I mean, for a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. to put together a food booth, it's really a lot of work. It is. A lot of times it's, people don't understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and if you've done September Fest before, you know it's not just a lot of work. To do September first, right. you got to be on your game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, because you got a lot. Right. A, you got a lot of competition. You do. You got mm -hmm. all these big flashy mm -hmm. commercial trailers mm -hmm. to compete mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. and then if you if you have stuff that's really a go, you're swamped. Mm -hmm. You with, are with people, you mm -hmm. know, wanting to buy stuff, mm -hmm. and you're bringing in volunteers to serve mm -hmm. food, and mm -hmm. it's a lot more to it than sometimes you think till you get in it. But I, Rotary's got it together. They've done yeah, it. <laughs> they, they have. You know, we, we meet back. They have meetings to prepare to, to order the food in advance. And then there's a lot of time in preparation on setting the grills up and, and making ready. And uh, uh, it takes a lot of yeah. uh, preparation and, and, and cooking the hash and stuff up. I mean, like you said, you know, they get it once a year yeah. when they visit the September Fest and people are, you know, in the Bahama Mamas. And they, you know, there for a while they had trouble finding buns, I think, locating the ones to fit the Bahama Mamas, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, uh, ordering the, making sure you order enough food that you don't run out. And not and, too much. And too much that's left with. over that you're stuck with. So, exactly. uh, Willa Cook has done an excellent job in, uh, in you know, uh, pulling all that together uh, yeah. for us. I was going to mention her. Mm -hmm. Willa Cook is uh, the head of that committee she that does uh -huh. September Fest. I'm not so involved with it because I'm so busy mm -hmm. at the festival. I don't right. have time to work on it. But uh, she she's done an excellent mm -hmm. job. She has. And yeah. It is. 
I guess the biggest fundraiser? Probably the biggest fundraiser that we do along with the, the radio, the, the two biggest we do is radio auction and, and the September Fest. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, we talked last week about September Fest and, and how it's, it's kind of getting harder to fund it mm -hmm. uh, for obvious reasons. Right. The economy mm -hmm. is not what it was. Small businesses, mm -hmm. and that's the people who give to They you. do, yeah. The small, the small businesses. businesses. The people yeah. you know, people uh -huh. you go to church with, right. people yeah. you grew mm -hmm. up with. And it's hard on them. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's getting harder and mm -hmm. harder for a small business. Mm -hmm. I own one, and right. I know, I'm telling you, you know, to make a hundred dollars of clear mm -hmm. profit that mm -hmm. you can put in your pocket and bring mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. takes a whole lot of work right. and a whole lot of money. Yeah. And so then when they give to you, mm -hmm. they're taking out of that. That's right. And yeah. giving to mm -hmm. you. And so it means a lot when they give. And then uh, the cost of entertainment has went up mm -hmm. uh, quite rapidly over the last, I've been there four years. Uh, it's went up probably 20, 25% mm -hmm. in four years. So. Mm -hmm. And it's the same acts you might have paid five thousand dollars for now they want seventy five hundred, mm -hmm. and it's just the way it is. And as I say before, you know, it's hard to get. Uh, we get more criticism over who sings than any mm -hmm. other part of the right. September Fest mm -hmm. because no matter who you get, mm -hmm. somebody else likes somebody else so, better. Right. And and I usually mm -hmm. do too. Right. So honestly, yeah. You know, but you kind of have to mm -hmm. get what you can afford. Right. Yeah, that's know. true. I want. I always tell mm -hmm. tell. I want Journey, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't have the right. eighty thousand <laughs> that it takes. Uh, mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, back to September Fest. I feel like that uh, that Rotary steps up and and every year commits to that and you know you probably wouldn't have to but it not only helps rotary but it's made the festival it's mm -hmm. it's something because right. i know last year i make facebook mm -hmm. posts about mm -hmm. things that's going on at the festival mm -hmm. so i put a picture of rotary hash on mm -hmm. facebook and said visit the rotary booth you get more likes more likes mm -hmm. from that than any other thing we posted you uh -huh. pay thousands of dollars for a band and you get 20 likes <laughs> and you put that on there and you get a 500 you right, know yeah. and people from out of town mm -hmm. everywhere talk about it mm -hmm. so it's really it's really been a great thing i hope the weather's good this year i do too i hope it is again i feel like i'm gonna touch on just real quick before we go i feel like that rotary uh has played a part in the community especially in the last few years mm -hmm. uh kind of as a chamber of commerce it's at least a place where us community leaders mm -hmm. Uh, meet mm -hmm. with business owners mm -hmm. on a regular weekly basis. So if you think about that, if you think about, I mean, I know John, the mm -hmm. judge is there and, and I try to be there almost all the time. Uh, if you got the business leaders mm -hmm. that are there meeting with community leaders, mm -hmm. uh, is always ideas passing over the food as we sit around the table. Mm -hmm. I like it that we don't have certain places to sit so we, we mingle mm -hmm. this week, right. I, I eat with you, next mm -hmm. week I eat with somebody mm -hmm. else, you right. know. I think it's and important. everybody does that, right. and yeah. we all learn from each mm -hmm. other by doing that. Uh, so I think it's just been great, and again, I urge you, if you're a, a community leader, mm -hmm. a, a business person who wants to be a part of Rotary, uh, come down and give one of us a call, or uh, stop by on, on Thursday at noon, or, or you know, you could see me, the judge, Chris. Um, uh, I, honestly, if you know any community leaders, business, they're pro most of them there. <laughs> right, they are. Yeah. Uh, if they're not, they missed that week. But uh, we we have quite a few mm -hmm. members. Uh, Chris, another thing I want to talk about with you and and you because I know we show up at the same places a lot of times because we do have the same interest mm -hmm. and we've known each other for years and years, but. Uh, like tourism, mm -hmm. we, we, Chris is on tourism, and, and I go to tourism just as a non-voting member because of the city. And uh, uh, we're having meetings about the Riverwalk again. We, we've not give up on that project, mm -hmm. and we ain't going to give up. Right. On. And we're meeting next week to regroup on that. And we've seen some new opportunities mm -hmm. that we're going to work on. And uh, Chris is, is always uh, involved in those extra things that not the clerk's job he does right. it because he lo loves the community because most of the time it has nothing to do with being clerk really. right that's right yeah <laughs> uh, uh but anyway I, I appreciate you and all you've done he helps the city same as he does the county and katrina does too and john i mean we've had i feel like 
a very good working we do. relationship. We have a really good working relationship. <clears throat> We've helped each other mm -hmm. in, in several instances. And when you can get the city and the county pulling the same rope the same mm -hmm. direction, yeah. you get things done a little much better than pulling the same rope two different That's directions. That's right, yeah. And uh, so I appreciate it. Uh, another thing that uh, I feel like Rotary has... Uh, has been a part of this community is is back in uh, the early times of this festival. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, and even back in the Ricky Skaggs mm -hmm. days, if you mm -hmm. remember, mm -hmm. Rotary uh, headed a lot of that up. They and did. Just, mm -hmm. I'm just thinking about the footprint that mm -hmm. that the Rotary has left mm -hmm. in Louisa, and I think it's pretty substantial. It know? is, yeah. You know, our motto is service above self, and, and I hope that, you know, we can show that out in our community, like we said, you know, working together and, and serving our community yeah, uh, and letting them know that we, you know, want to make a difference, you know. Yeah, and, and, uh, absolutely. Uh, I, I think Rotary is one of those things that I go to, and I, I feel like there's, uh, there's just no negatives to it. Right. Mm -hmm. There's no, you know, and a lot of things, you all know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. A lot of things you can get involved in, mm -hmm. and it can be for the good. Right. But there's some type of negative mm -hmm. somewhere or something to aggravate mm -hmm. you or something mm -hmm. people don't get along mm -hmm. or, yeah. you know, you're out, you're mm -hmm. voting against. Mm -hmm. for, and Rotary's not that mm -hmm. way. Right, it's, yeah. just, it's always positive. I've mm -hmm. never seen anything negative mm -hmm. what time I've been there. Yeah, yeah you look forward every week. I, I look yeah. forward every Thursday because, you know, you're going to see the community members and, and business leaders and, and like you said, you share your ideas and, and what's going on in the community. And it's a good camaraderie, yeah. you know, that we, we have that uh, when we do the, the September Fest, you know, or, uh, you know, and then we're looking at how we can better, you know, serve yeah. the community. And, and everything we do goes back into the it community does. in uh -huh. some way. So, mm -hmm. again, we want to thank you all for uh, participating in the Rotary Auction and for mm -hmm. buying Rotary Hash and Bahama Mama. That's right. And so, you know, I'm the chairman of the festival, so I know all those booths, uh, and you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot to eat there, but, but I say this, mm -hmm. remember when you buy from one of the nonprofit organizations here at home, you're helping somebody right here at home. That's and right. I tell people that all the time, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, and, and let me say this too, we charge those commercial vendors uh, tremendously more than the nonprofit mm -hmm. group. We want to try to keep the nonprofit group mm -hmm. low enough to where we can make mm -hmm. a profit. Right, you know? yeah. And Rotary does make good mm -hmm. money. We do. It's very yeah, good money. It's, and I might also mm -hmm. add that along with paying their booth fee, they, a couple years ago, just volunteered to pay us more as a donation mm -hmm. because they make so good right. and mm -hmm. uh, realize the need. And, and I thought that was really great. So, guys, again, if you have any interest in Rotary, Chris, you got anything else? Want to talk about I it. think we've covered quite a bit, Harold. <laughs> you know, and, you can cover uh, a lot in 20 minutes. You can, yeah, but it goes by quickly. <laughs> it, it does. does. Uh -huh. uh, I really appreciate you all watching the show. Uh, if there's something you'd like to, to see the city or the county talk about or address, I'll see if we can get it on. I'll see if I can find. If I don't know about it, I'll find a guest that does know about it, and we'll get them on the show. You can watch us every Friday night on LICOM Channel 100 and 200 if you have LICOM. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then after that, it's on YouTube, and they remain mm -hmm. on YouTube. So if you miss us on TV and you want to watch the show, mm -hmm. uh, I try to share it on Facebook when mm -hmm. I think about it. Uh, but uh, watch it on Facebook, uh, the link on Facebook, mm -hmm. watch it on YouTube, and uh, let us know how we're doing. I'm used to criticism. I'm sure you are too. Mm -hmm. So we welcome it. And uh, uh, until the next time, thanks, Chris, for coming right. on. Thanks for having and me. And we'll see you all next time on another edition of Moments with the Mayor Show.